welcome everyone now we are on question 2 in which we have to draw the figure ourselves so it's given that in a triangle pqr so i have drawn a triangle pqr pq is q is equal to qr so this pq is equal to qr so l m n r midpoints of sides pq qr and rp respectively prove that so given we can write to prove is ln is equal to mn so here the simplest method to solve this is see this is ln this line is ln and this is mn these are parts of two triangles that is triangle pln and triangle mnr so we need to prove these triangles congruent so that we can do this by we can prove ln is equal to mn by cpct so first of all let's see the conditions we know that pq is equal to qr so it means angle p will be equal to angle r see this is not the part of this it's entirely different pq is equal to qr right it's given it means angle p will be equal to angle r because angles opposite to equal sides are equal see how it's how it comes see the side is pq so which angle is opposite to side pq this is angle r so r and qr it's qr and which is opposite it angle p is opposite to this so by this method we check which angles are opposite to which side then if we do we need this equal to this we can do that half of angle p will be equal to half of angle r so what is half of angle uh, sorry half of it's pq half of pq and half of qr what is half of pq it's pl and what's half of qr it's mr we are taking only those sides which are part of this triangle so it means this is equal to this this is our first condition next this is equal to this this is our second uh, condition so because these are uh, part of this now what's next we can see that in the question it was given that n is the midpoint of pr it means pn will be equal to nr because it given so these are the three conditions by which we can prove that triangle pln is congruent to triangle mnr so by which criteria it's by see here is the angle its um, side so it's sas rule because one angle is included between two sides so by sas rule we have proved mnr is congruent to triangle pln and now by cpct we can prove this so it was the simplest method we can do and this is the end of exercise 10.4 thank you for watching